optical purity and insonomic axis first of all we will learn about optical purity then after we will learn insonomic axis optical purity so here is the introductions then after we will learn how to calculate the optical purity sometimes we deal with the mixture that are neither optically pure nor respect mixture in this case we specify the optical purity of mixture in some compounds the compounds is not optically pure nor a resting mixture in optically pure one from plus from or minus from will be there yeah in resting mixture plus and minus from will be in equal amount that's why they cancel each other and in, in a and resting mixture will be and the specific rotation will be zero in the resting mixture but this have compound sometime not possible maybe there is a plus is 40 percent minus is 60 percent such type of structure such type of compounds is there in a questions so in that case in that case we need to calculate the optical purity how much the compound is optically pure how much the plus from is is there and how much the minus from in the compounds how much d and l form in the compounds here i mentioned one point whether a particular sample consists of single enantiomer or a mixture of enantiomer can be determined by its observed as specific rotation. For example, example enantiomer pure sample. In enantiomer pure sample, the plus form will be there, or yeah, minus form will be there. A specific rotation will be in plus form, or yeah, in the minus form, minus form. Meaning only one enantiomer is present. Of s plus two bromobutane will have. An observed of specific rotation is plus 23.1 degree because the specific rotation of plus 2 bromobutane is plus 23.1 degree. If, however, the sample 2 bromobutane has observed of specific rotation is 0 degree, whenever there is a resting mixture, then the compounds will have 0 a specific rotation, plus and minus a specific rotation will cancel each other. The optical purity formula is observe optical rotations by optical rotation of pure enantiomer. Pure enantiomer means plus form or minus form and observe, opti opti observe optical rotations. If any examination is observe optical rotations is given by this, this, that means the compounds is, is having a plus form and observe optical rotation is negative means compounds is in minus form, L form, laboratory. In examinations, uh, the questions: If we have a plus two butanol, if ha if we have two butanol with observed optical rotation plus nine point seven two, we have we compare this rotation with the plus three rotation of a pure enantiomer. The give uh, question is given: Plus pure enantiomer, optical rotation of pure enantiomer plus thirteen point five observe optical rotation is given then you can calculate the optical purity optical purity is formula is optical observe optical rotations observe optical rotations is given 9.72 and optical rotation of pure enantiomer is given 13.5 into 100 according to the formula because optical purity we are calculating in the percentage form so it will be 72 percent that means 72 percent of plus Enantiomer that means 72 percent is plus 2 butanol and 28 percent is mixture. Optical purity means 72 percent is pure, as in the given compound, observed optical rotation is plus 9.72 plus 9.12 means the compounds is having a plus positive. So plus observed optical rotation is plus that's why we can get to know by the plus observed optical rotation that the pure enantiomer will, will be plus means positive will be in in compounds optical purity will give the positive form that's why it is 72 percent that means 70 percent is a pure plus 2 butanol and 28 percent is a mixture in 100 percent total 72 percent is pure plus 2 butanol as the plus 2 butanol why because observed optical rotation is plus that's why it is a plus 2 butanol 
so in 100 minus 72 28 percent is a mixture that's why the plus overall total plus form will be 72 percent is a pure and 28 percent is mixture so 28 means 14 will be plus and 14 will be minus so that's why plus form will be 72 plus 14 86 percent and minus form will be 14 percent now we will learn about the enantiomeric axis the enantiomeric axis tell us how much the axis plus form a minus form how much the compounds having plus form is in axis a minus form in, is in the axis in a mixture if the object of a specific rotation is positive we know that solution contain axis plus form if the object optical rotation is negative we know that solutions contain minus form to compute the enantiomeric axis of a mixture we calculate the axis of a dominant x enantiomer as a percentage of entire mixture to calculate the enantiomeric axis give the same result as the calculation of optical purity optical purity and enantiomeric are the same whatever will the optical purity the uh, will be that will be same as the enantiomeric axis but the enantiomeric formula is t minus l by d plus l into 100 100 because of because we are getting the enantiomeric axis in the percentage form d minus l this is axis axis of one enantiomer over the other d minus l means axis of one enantiomer over the another or d plus l means entire mixtures into 100 <coughs> now we will learn this by examples in uh, questions if you have a plus if you have a two material with observed optical rotation is plus means enantiomeric axis will be in the plus form Observe optical, optical rotation plus means enantiomeric axis will be in the plus form. If it be minus, then enantiomeric axis will, over the another will be in the minus form. We have to compare this rotation with the plus 13.5 rotation of pure enantiomer. Pure enantiomer is given, observed optical rotation is given, pure enantiomer is given 13.5, observed optical rotation plus 9.72 is given. <coughs> Then we, we can calculate the optical purity. Opt Observe optical rotation by optical rotation of pure enantiomer into 100. Observe optical rotation is given 9.72 with 13.5 into 100 equal to 72%. Means 72% will be in the axis over one over on one one over the other. And this will be our axis because optical purity equal to enantiomeric axis as D minus L equal to 72% and D plus L will be 100. This is the axis as op observe optical rotation plus is given that's why the enantiomeric axis will be in the plus form 72 percent will be in the plus form and uh, in this way the d minus l axis of one enantiomer over, over the another will be the 72 percent d plus l by solving these two equations by one and two d by adding 2d 2d l l cancel 2d equal to 172 d will be 86 percent l will be 14 percent d this is a plus form d plus form dextrorotary l is liberatory this will be in the minus form that is in the previous examples in the previous example in this example we have solved this example the d form plus form 86 percent minus form will be 14 percent this is shown d form is 86 percent l form is 14 percent now we will learn more examples here the general consideration is given. Consider S2 bromobutane has a specific rotation plus 23.1% and R butane bromo R2 bromobutane has a specific rotation minus. Here is a S is denoted for plus and here R is noted for the minus. A specific rotation is given. Determine the optical purity of resumic racemic mixture. Optical purity for racemic mixture. Racemic mixture the Optical purity equal to enantiomeric axis. Enantiomeric axis equal to D minus L by D plus L into 100. D minus L means racemic mixture. Racemic mixture means how much that uh, D will be equal to L. D equal to L. Dextrorotary will cancel the rotation of L. So D equal to L. In this way, D L minus D equal to L. That's why D minus L will be cancel each other. It will be 0, 0. Enantiomeric 0. Optical purity will be zero percent so we are getting zero percent hundred and two a mixture ma by pure and pure sample pure sample will be plus two t three point one and the mixture will be zero why mixture is racemic mixture so d and l will cancel each other <coughs> determine the enantiomeric axis of racemic mixture 
and symmetric axis of interesting mixture axis mixture means D and L will be cancel each other R and S will cancel each other R S 50 50 and R plus S 50 plus 50 100 R S resin mixtures R will be equal to the S D equal to the, to the L but in opposite in sign that's why the NSM axis will be zero now the little bit harder questions which SMR is dominant and what is optical purity of a mixture of a R N S turbobutane whose specific rotation was found to be minus nine here the specific rotation is given for R mixture the mixture for a specific rotation was found to be minus 9 so it is a optical purity observed optical rotation it is a specific rotation was found was found means it is observed so it will be minus 9.2 and a pure sample this is a R sample this is a R sample for R sample I have already explained for R sample the specific rotation will be minus 13.1 this is a R sample this is a S sample for R sample, a specific rotation is minus 23.1. For R sample, the minus 23.1 and for a mixture, was, this is observed optical rotation. This is a mixture is written, but this is observed optical rotation. Optical rotations, optical purity, I have already told you the optical purity formula is observed optical rotations. You observe optical rotations, you have found optical rotation by optical rotation of pure energy summer. In this example, optical rotation pure in will be minus 3, minus 23.1, and this is after object optical rotation minus 9.2. Then, after minus minus will be plus, after solving this, 40% will get optical purity, means 60% will be in the mixture, 40% will be pure. This is a pure means minus per minus per will be 40%, a mixture will be plus and minus will be 60%. After then, overall minus will be 30 and plus will be 30 the minus 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 will be 70% overall minus will be 70% and plus will be 30% now this is shown what is the percentage composition of mixture so minus minus will be 70% and plus will be s will be 30% so s r will be 70% s will be 30% in cmrx axis in the uh, types of small fractions in this small fraction we can calculate the enantiomeric axis enantiomeric axis small fraction of axis enantiomer minus small fraction of other enantiomer dot 100 now the enantiomeric axis in the mole fraction this can be also be written like this formula Enantiomer axis small fraction of excess enantiomer minus small fraction of other enantiomer by this is a by this is a by and small fraction of excess enantiomer plus small fraction of other enantiomer into 100 it is so much long that's why I have written but the this is an into 100 this is a 100 mole fraction 100 now by the questions as the denominator is equal to 1 in case of solution is chemically not enantiomer pure compounds I will explain if the sample contains 8 moles of excess enantiomer, 2 moles of other enantiomer, then the enantiomeric axis, enantiomeric axis D minus L by D plus L into 100. This is enantiomeric axis. So D minus L, to D sample contains 8 moles of excess enantiomer and 2 moles of other enantiomer. This is 8 minus 2. This is 8 minus 2. 8 minus 2 by 8 plus 2 into 10 into 100. 8 moles of excess enantiomer and 2 moles of other enantiomer. This will be 8 moles of now this solving this will be get 0.6 into 100 equal to 60. 60% 60 will be our enantiomer axis. If the sample contain 9 moles of excess enantiomer and 6 moles of other enantiomer, then the enantiomer axis, then by the putting this same formula, we are getting if you saw where the 9 moles of excess enantiomer 9 plus D, this is D minus L, D plus L equal to 15 to 100. By solving this, we are getting uh, whatever we are getting that will our enantiomeric axis in percentage. If the enantiomeric axis of resonate, then the 1 and H2 1 mixture will be 2 enantiomer means 0.5 means D minus L will be 5 5 into 10 equal to 100. That will be 0 percent plus minus. 
will be cancelled. For resonant fluorescent mixture, for resonant mixture, one and one mixture will be there, one is to one, and that will be D minus L. D and L will cancel each other for resonant mixtures. Now there is, here is some example questions is on we we have to solve. All are very simple. I will also explain. Then we will, we will learn about the confirmation asymmetry. 